As great as Ethereum is, transactions can get ridiculously expensive and scalability problems therefore emerge. Other layer one blockchains similar to Ethereum, but with various scalability twists, therefore appeared to provide an alternative. But let's face it, many of them are hardly used. Which begs the question, why abandon Ethereum and not build solutions on top of it? Optimism represents such a solution, more specifically a layer two one, which in their own words, piggybacks off the security of the layer one parent blockchain, in this case, Ethereum. To elaborate, the consensus mechanism of the parent chain is leveraged, be it proof of work consensus, proof of stake, or anything else. In essence, the optimistic rollups cryptographic technology is used to bundle transactions and send a bunch at the same time on the Ethereum mainnet with a so-called sequencer, producing layer two blocks and submitting transactions to the layer one blockchain. The result? Less traffic on the mainnet and perhaps more importantly, lower per transaction costs because fixed costs are spread across the many transactions included in a batch. And furthermore, the sequencer deploys compression solutions to slim down data. Please note that the previously mentioned sequencer represents the core revenue generation mechanism of optimism, yet also an area of centralization with plans in place to eventually decentralize this role. Finally, in terms of governance, the two entities in charge are number one, the Optimism Foundation, and number two, the Optimism Collective, which itself has two entities. The token house, responsible for the future of the protocol by, for example, deciding on protocol updates through voting facilitated by the OP governance token. The initial supply was set at slightly below 4.3 billion tokens with an annual inflation rate of 2% as well as the Citizens House that governs public goods funding and where citizenship is provided through non-transferable NFTs. 